Hello everyone and welcome back to another Uverse Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys solar systems. So today we're going to be checking out one simulation from the user Nick118 in Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending in their simulation. If you guys like to send in your own simulations to this series make sure to join my Discord server link in the description where you can upload your systems in our dedicated uni Universe Sandbox simulation submission chat and then yeah you just have to wait for me to uh, get on it because there is quite a bit of a queue but I mean that's to be expected really. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this system. So today we're in update 25.2 as well, um, as requested by Nick, so it all runs properly. And yeah, their system is called the Hego system. So let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us today. Right, here we are. Okay, so there's no reading, straight into the action. So we can see simulations are uh, pretty big. Uh, we can see 82 objects, okay. Right, so let's see what we have got. So here is Hego itself. So let's uh, have a little peek. So there it is, so we can see radius, put that into sun, so it looks probably around uh, 1.2 suns maybe, not AU suns, 1.5 suns, okay, so um, 65,000k, luminosity 7 times uh, brighter than the sun there, okay, so there's Hego, right, first object of the day, so this is Sari, over here, so we can see Mercury, almost like a Mercury-Mars sort of mix, right there is probably my first interpretation of that, so it's got like the sort of more Mars-like sort of uh, appearance but it's also got an atmosphere on it but then it's kind of a mercury sort of temperature world so hot sort of desert is sort of um what that world implies to me uh, next up we have got this object here looks more like a venus like object this is derv 158 though so it's not as hot as uh, the closest planet there so there is derv hope i'm saying that right apologies for any pronunciations in advance <laughs> right so next up we have anul so we can see very, very bright and vibrant. Let's have a little peek into the stats of this guy. So we can see here, 99 and 92, so a very, very high stats. It's in a very good spot, 16 degrees as well. Very, very bright and cheerful indeed. So there you go. Nice. If we look over here as well, he also has a moon. So it's got one moon. And then at the second moon over here. Excellent. So there they are. Cool. All right, next object out, we are at... Eron, minus 20 degrees here, so kind of reminds me of the second or the first planet, but a yeah, colder version of it. And it's also got a moon called Lena. And also, there we are. Okay, cool. What is that thing over there? Just having a look at that there. Okay, interesting. Right, so next up we have got this one. Sura Ans. Hope I'm saying that right. So here it is. A very, very uh, more dark, generic sort of world, 111 minus degrees over here next object out again very very cold so we're in the colder areas now of this system so we've got one little uh, little dwarf asteroid moon there okay right so next up we're going to what, what is this here so i'm guessing it's an object with loads of moons yeah yeah okay right gas giant very good looking gas giant as well i like it very nice you know what i may have a little cheeky save if you don't mind i think that's a that's a good looking world i like it cool Right, so then we have um, some more little objects here. Okay. So I guess these are all minor moons. So we'll just we'll just go over them like we normally do. For anything significant, we'll take a peek. But we'll just we'll just have um, part. We'll just select them. We'll just have them in the menu here, just so we can see them easier. So there they are. Let's just make it so you can see the whole object. Okay, so I'll try and select them all. But I mean, there is quite a lot here. So I'm guessing these are all random spawns. I don't think there's anything customised in this moon system, but you can see there's a lot of moons, so I'll try and uh, select most of them. So yeah, there's there's probably a rough indicator. So yeah, they're all they're all roughly um, just random generic spawns. So there you go. All right, next up we have got this object here. So we've got a Saturn-like object. So this is uh, Gorias. I hope I'm saying that right. So we can see very very Saturn-like in appearance. Maybe it was originally built off Saturn, and then obviously moon-wise, I guess they're just random spawns once more. So. Yeah, you can see there's not really much, uh, yeah, not really much to see there with the moons. Plenty of moons. So next up, we've got this object. So we've got a nice ice giant. It looks quite Neptune-like in colour. Getting okay, obviously very dark now at minus 232. It looks like it's only got one band um, in colour, which is quite interesting. Yeah, just one band. So pretty cool. Nice and simple. We've got some uh, more uh, moons as well. Looking good. So there they all are. Okay, next jump, we are heading to this world over here. So Plano Rax over here. Okay, so this is a oh I do like the way that is a gorgeous looking well there. Oh ho ho, let's get a little look at that in studio mode. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? It's a nice mix of blue and like a more light sort of teal colour. 
with a darker blue shade. I gotta say, it's a good looking world. I do like it. That is a good looking world. And then onto the uh, other other worlds or other moons. So here is a full lineup. Okay. So again, yeah, they're just they're just random spawns. So there we are. Cool. Right now we're heading to this blue trail, so another ice giant over here. So yeah, another sort of Neptune-like in colour. Again, it's surrounded by uh, plenty of moons. Excellent. So they all are. Right. Then we have this world here, Verniku. So now we're heading to sort of the dwarf planet, really, really far out objects now. So that's probably the end of the main system. So now we've just got sort of ejected, eccentric objects. So we can see here, there they all are. All right, okay, there we are. So that is a full sort of look at the Hego systems. What do you guys think of that? So there's a full lineup. So we can see some similarities of our own solar system. We have a big dominant Jupiter. We've got a smaller Saturn-like object. Then we have a, this world here. It doesn't really meet the criteria. Then we have like a Uranus and Neptune equivalent. So it's kind of like our solar system with an extra gas giant. And then onto the rocky planets, we obviously have an Earth-like world. We've got a venus like world then we have probably like a we have like a two mars like worlds and obviously that hot mercury world at the beginning as the hottest planet so you can see yeah quite quite similar to our own solar system you can see they've definitely taken inspiration there and yeah very nice indeed so it's a kind of a mix up on our own solar system it's definitely you can definitely tell it's inspired by our system because yeah, it's got two two ice giants plus this extra third one so that's the hidden fifth gas giant. so i guess you could say oh, they have a planet nine equivalent as well um, with one of these guys, obviously Jupiter and Saturn equivalents, that's pretty obvious. I mean, if you had a picture from far, if, you, if you're just looking at it like this, you'd probably say, yeah, that's our solar system right there. So, yeah, it's a uh, different take on the planets and our own solar system all revamped up. So, there you go. So, there's a, there's a full lineup for all the objects there. So, what do you guys think of that? So, you can see there's a lot of generic ones, but, I mean, yeah, there's a few nice customised ones in here as well. But, yeah, best cooking gas giants, definitely that one and that one. So, just the two most banded ones very nice indeed but yeah there we go so that does it for this system so again a massive thank you to nick 118 for sending in their simulation here so very nice indeed pretty short and sweet but yeah there is everything guys so make sure you um leave that hit that like button let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys i'm not even sure what episode this is now we've done so many of these I mean, we must be getting close to 200 now um, i can't remember off the top of my head what we are on but yeah with that all said then guys make sure you guys all have a great day stay safe up there yeah so this can go for 50 like 30 likes sorry and yeah, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.